Hello, my dear friend. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is supposed to be part of the Plan With Me series, since I'll be drawing the summary page for my August bullet journal setup. But because there's only one page, I thought it could be a good chance to do a tutorial for you guys. Honestly, I've been hesitating on doing this type of video because I'm really bad at explaining things, I think. So today, I'm going to try my best, and hopefully, you can find this video helpful or inspiring. If you don't know the name of this amazing sculpture, it is Venus de Milo by Alexandros of Anitieco. In the art world, sculpture is an indispensable part, especially during the ancient Greek and Rome period, along with paintings and architectures. Before we start, I want to quickly introduce this book. For some of you who are interested in art history but have no idea where to start, this one could be a good option. It gives important details of all the movements, technique, and 50 artworks. Without further ado, let's get ready and start it. The tools you need are a pencil, an eraser, and a fine liner pen. The reference picture happens to be pretty much the size of my notebook, so I can easily locate the top and bottom for overall size. For beginners who cannot handle ratio very well, this could help until you have a better sense. Now I'm trying to find the important guide points, like the top of her head, the jaw, and her shoulders. By figuring out the relationship between each points, we can copy how the bone structure goes. Her left shoulder is a little bit higher than the right one, so we can draw the line to represent the angle. Then for the spine, obviously she's not standing straight, so here we can use a few short lines to locate how the body rotates. Same method for the rest of her body. I just eyeball the hip bone and the legs, but you can always go back and trace the original paintings to get a better understanding of where each point should be. Now with the help of the guide points, we can roughly draw the body shape. Her legs are covered by the cloth, but we should still try to figure out the outline so we can know the structure better, especially the clothes fleets are based on that. Then let's continue to refine more details. There's no arm in this practice, but you can always apply what I said on it when you need to. Also, remember to always check and compare each part with the overall body, see if the size is right before moving to the next part. As for the clothes section, my personal suggestion is to abstract the big folds and simplify the rest. It's hard to capture all the details when there are too many of them, so highlighting the big structure is important. After some adjustment, now we can work on refining the overall shape, starting with the head. I usually would do eyes first, but for the full body size work, I decided to only outline the rough facial features since I'm not sure if I'm going to do the details on the eyes section later. Then I continue to work on nose, mouth, jaw, hair, and then go down to neck, shoulder, chest, and waist. Now we come to the lower body section. I use a lot of shorelines to define each fold because if you use curvy line directly, it is easy to go off and lose the proportion. Of course, a lot of professionals can do it without guidance since they've practiced on this on purpose for a long time. I'm not there yet, obviously, so even with the guide, I can only get like 80% of the original. But it's okay if it doesn't work out as how you want it to be. As long as you can go back to compare and analyze where it went wrong, you still have the space to improve. Now the base is pretty much done. I'm going to lightly erase the unnecessary lines. Regular erasers can do the job, but it will be better if you have a kneaded eraser which is soft and looks like gums or plasticine. For the second round, I'll be tracing the line work with more details. Compared to earlier where I just tried to get the big structure, I'll refine the shape more accurately this time. Another tip for the close part is that even though the sculpture looks super realistic, it is still made of marble. So for us to do a preparation, using slightly curved line can help to represent the material better. After refining all the line work, here comes to the key. Transferring the outline into one line or a few lines. Basically connecting all of them together. I find it especially hard for the parts that are not touching anything like mouth and belly area. But as long as you can tell where the shades line are, you can easily use it to build a bridge. For example, you can continue the line from her arm to chest and then connect it to the middle abs 
and belly button, then slide back based on the shadow on the side. For the pencil guide step, you don't have to make it perfect at once. I need to keep fixing here and there too, just to make it more cohesive and follow the muscle structure at the same time. Then for the close part, it's slightly easier because you can pretty much connect any lines if you want. Just need to pay attention to make sure you highlight the main folds. Now we are ready to trace it with a fineliner pen. You don't have to erase the pencil mark if you need it. When I record the previous Plan With Me videos, I try to erase everything to make it clear for you. And now I have some guidelines left to make it easier to trace. For complicated ones like this, I can work on it more and figure out with exactly one line, but it will take more time and for beginners, we can start with a few lines which is fine. Take your time and think before each line. Sometimes you can also draw separate lines and connect them after, if that's easier for you. This spread is made for monthly summary, so I leave the most of the space for the box. Besides summary, I also use it as next month goal. Then I add some round corner boxes to match the style from the previous spreads. So yeah, that's all what I want to share with you today. This is my first time making tutorial video, there may be some part that I didn't explain well. I hope you don't mind and if you have any questions, you can leave comments down below. For the previous world famous art themed bullet journal videos, I'll leave links here too for you to check out. If you're interested in getting digital versions of my spreads, come and join my Patreon community. I also have those designs as prints and products in my Etsy and Redbubble shop. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe, also don't forget to turn on the bell. Thank you for watching. I'll see you very soon in my next video.